They're blocking the streets, they're burning flags, they're standing on buses, they're writing swear words all over buses. It's not helping. Uh, this isn't, this is not helping. I, I wanted Hillary to win more than anybody, anybody. And to stand out here and to not have a call to action and not be specific, that's why we're, that's why we're here where we are now, because we haven't been talking about policy, because we haven't been being specific, because we've been talking about um, uh, things that don't matter things that uh, about personality not policy and there needs to be a call to action and I need Hillary to stand up right now and walk in and sue the United States of America and say back when black people couldn't right they couldn't vote right how many years ago your vote would have been one-third guess what today it still is today right now it still is so you don't feel like this was a fair election because it looks like Donald Trump won fair and square. How did he win fair and square? Hillary had more votes. More human beings voted for Hillary. This isn't fair. We didn't get one vote. You didn't get a vote. It's just like back in the day when your vote was one third. So the Electoral College, you're somebody who wants to blow that up. You want to get rid of the Electoral College. Just count the votes. It's ridiculous. Hillary, you're a lawyer. Walk in. <laughs> Go to the Supreme Court. I believe in you, Hillary. I've been to Rwanda. I've yes. been to your hospital in Rwanda. I've seen all the good you've done. Well, you I believe in you. Women need you. Minorities need you. I need you. Chicago needs you. We all need you. This country needs you to stand up and walk into the Supreme Court and say one vote equals one vote. What's wrong with so, that? So What's could, the debate? You definitely feel his passion. There's other people out here who 